My question to you is, is that anything that governments or regulatory bodies could do to facilitate and even incentivize uh, this, these markets, right? In, in, in the case of, of, of the private uh, results-based uh, lenders or, or funders. Uh, I mean, what, what we found very interesting of the Education Outcomes Fund is that in both Ghana and Sierra Leone, uh, the government said uh, we are we are prepared to put 15% of the money up for the outcomes fund, okay? Uh, and they can house the teams that are working on the ground. Uh, the evidence that is being generated is open source. They have access to it, so they're very strongly incentivized to get involved. And the Ghanaian government actually said, if you're not going to do this, we, we're going to do it anyway, uh, because we believe this is the way forward. Now, the biggest thing today that is an obstacle, Alexander, um, isn't raising the investment capital. I mean, you know that uh, from your own experience as a, as a bank. Uh, there's lots of capital in different pots today. Uh, that would like to achieve impact and a, a financial return. The difficulty is in putting the outcomes funding together. And that's where government has to play a role if we want to accelerate the um, uh, uh, increased uh, effectiveness of uh, development. We need governments to say, look, we have entities uh, like uh, US uh, AID and others in the world that are capable of providing grant capital. That grant capital will go in commitments to outcomes funds because those outcomes funds will prepare tariffs for educating uh, or dealing with the health issues or whatever other social issue we try to tackle with specific populations. We may want to pay more for a young woman that gets educated than a young man, for somebody from a village than somebody from the city, from somebody who's disabled than somebody who's able-bodied. We can provide incentives, again, picking up Marie's uh, point, for the organizations delivering uh, the services to do so in the most effective way socially, not just the low-hanging uh, low fruit. When you have that expertise and you can sign contracts, it's easy for banks like UBS and uh, uh, venture uh, impact venture organizations uh, like Bridges Ventures to put together funds that fund these organizations seeking to receive the, the outcomes payments. So if in this conversation, we can create a mechanism where governments are incentivized, begin to understand this, and, and we can go into the reasons why it hasn't happened um, faster, because there isn't yet the institutional readiness within government to change to these different ways of, of, of commissioning. So we have to incentivize government to go to these new ways of thinking, despite uh, the inertia in, in the existing system. And the motivation for them should be, it's going to cost me half as much, and the quality of the services delivered are going to be superior, and the evidence is going to be superior, and it's going to help me in policy making, and everything will have been evaluated and audited to the highest professional standard. How we track this depends on which government is going to take a bold step forward, and which issue um, is going to, you know, is going to be a high priority for for that uh, government. 